You're listening to the hum of a quarter million honeymakers stretching their wings for the first time in the late winter sun. But these little creatures won't live until summer without help from their white-suited keepers. Beekeeper Ed Buchanan and State Bee Inspector Jack Hanel zip up their bee suits. And to cover this story, photographer Mark Poff and I do the same. These are pretty gentle, uh, pretty gentle bees. They can get nasty if, they, if you go the wrong way with them sometimes. Buchanan gently nudges his bees as he begins testing his hives for two kinds of killer mites. One microscopic bug infests the breathing tubes of the bees. He treats that problem with a packet of pure menthol. The bees breathe this gas in the, in the breathing system, in the trachea, and it kills the mites that's in there. To test for the vicious varroa mite, Buchanan must kill a handful of bees with ether. These pinhead-sized specks near the knife point are dead mites infesting the bees. Now for each mite that we find, that we see here, you can, a rough rule of the thumb, there's 500 in the hive. Buchanan must disassemble each hive to treat it with a pesticide called apistan, deadly to the mites but harmless to the bees. If you don't treat them now, come spring, you're not going to have more bees in your hive. State inspectors say the cost of treating a hive is very small. For about $7 a hive, most beekeepers can take care of the problem. The problem is, is that most of them have never had to treat their hives before. It takes about a quart of honey to pay for the uh, medication that you put in, $7. But uh, it is kind of time consuming for the beekeeper and takes a lot of work. The extra work and the extra expense are critical. At least 20% of the state's hives were wiped out last year, and that figure could grow if beekeepers don't act quickly to protect their swarms. Cheryl Barber, News 13, WLOS.